When we're working with price markups, we're going to use the following proportion to solve it. Percent markup over 100 equals dollars markup over the wholesale price. This looks a whole lot like our percent proportion we used earlier. And that's because it is the same. The markup is the part that they raised it up, whereas the whole thing is the wholesale price. And we've got a percent and 100 on the other side. Now notice how this proportion doesn't talk at all about a retail price. All the retail price is, is the wholesale price plus the dollar markup. These two formulas will get you through all the questions in this section. Let's start with this one. So an item has a wholesale value of $15 and it's marked up by 30%. So essentially, a store buys the item for $15 and raises the price by 30%. That's its profit. It makes 30% on that sale. So what is the amount of markup? Well, let's start with our formula. Percent markup over 100 equals dollars markup over the wholesale price. Let's put in our numbers. I got a 30% markup. Always goes over 100. I've got a wholesale value of $15. And the piece I don't know is how many dollars is it marked up? Put an X there. Let's cross multiply. X times 100 and 30 times 15. 100x equals 450. We divide both sides by 100. That leads me to x equals $4.50. And that is my markup. The store raises the price $4.50. So what is the retail price? That retail price is what the customer pays. And our formula is wholesale price plus markup. Wholesale price of $15. Our markup is $4.50. So in this case, our retail price equals, add those two numbers together, we get $19.50. So the store buys it for $15, raises the price 30%, or $4.50, and turns around and sells it to the customer for $19.50. Example number two, an item with a wholesale value of $40 is marked up by 250%. That's quite a bit of markup, but you're going to come across that lots in stores. What is the amount of the markup? Well, let's start with the formula. Let's put in our numbers. It's marked up 250% and the wholesale price is $40. The piece we don't know is how many dollars it's going to be marked up. I'll put an X in there. Let's cross multiply. 100 times x equals 250 times 40. 250 times 40 is 10,000. Let's take both sides, divide by 100. In this case, x equals 100. Put a dollar sign on that. So the store marked up the price by $100. So a common mistake I find is especially when you've got a really high markup like this one, 250% is a high markup. People look at that number, it's, oh, okay, well, that's higher than the wholesale value. That must be the retail price. No, that's their profit. The retail price, you still have to add that 40, original $40 in. Let's put in our numbers. $40 wholesale price with $100 markup gives me a retail price of $140. That is what the customer pays.